calved cows are milked for the first time and their colostrum is kept separately. From the four sheds on the island, the best quality colostrum is identified and fed to the first day calves. Oh, these are our first day colostrum cows, so we are milking them separate so that we can keep the gold colostrum for the first day cows. So you're basically trying to get that day one colostrum? Day one colostrum from these cows here. So that's why they are separate, so we keep them separate and then we test their milk and then it's going for Karen for the cows. So Karen, here at Require Island, you have a really good procedure in place to ensure that uh, your first day old cars get some really top quality colostrum. Yep. And I know you guys do this by using a colostrometer. Mm -hmm. So a colostrometer is basically a little contraption you can use. You can pop it into your colostrum and you can actually work out the level of immunoglobulins in it because immunoglobulins are really the important thing in colostrum that are actually being absorbed by calves to help with their immunity. So we have um, two lots of colostrum from yesterday actually. Yep. So one's a poorer quality and one's a better quality. And, um, and quite often like the colour's not, you can't tell by just colour alone. Yep. Um, so, so we take a reading on, on everything that's milked on the farm that's day one, we'll take a reading from it. So we'll pour some into a... Cool, so we'll give it a go now. Oh, yeah. So we'll pour that colostrum into there. So you take the colostrum, which is basically just a weighted vial that's measuring the viscosity of the colostrum. We can pop it in there and then it'll float or sink depending on the thickness of the colostrum and basically what it's measuring is their level of immunoglobulins in there so a colostrum with a high level of immunoglobulins will be thicker so the colostrometer will float a little bit higher so from this we can see uh, basically there's a, a scale on the side so green to red if we pop it in and it's in the red zone we shouldn't really be feeding this to day old calves yeah if it's in the green zone we can so this one here we can see is actually not the best quality colostrum no. and we shouldn't really be feeding this mm. to our day one calves so for us we will we'll put this into our day two to four milk and um because it's still got we, we use rotovac and and scour guard so that's ultimately what's in our colostrum so it'll still get put into our our milk but through the day two to four milk instead. Um, and so we'll just test that other one, if you like. Cool. So that one's basically still got all the goodies that colostrum has, but it's actually just too low in immunoglobulins, really, for our day ones. So we'll pop that one in there. Pop in the colostrometer. So this one here, because this colostrum is of a better quality and it's got a higher immunoglobulin level, we can see on the colostrometer that it's in the green zone. Mm -hmm. So I'd be happy to feed this colostrum to a day one calf because yep. uh, I'm pretty confident that it's got a really good level of immunoglobulins in there. So colostrum is so important, Karen, especially for those day one old calves. Mm. And really the reason why is for that passive immunity that they're getting from the immunoglobulins in the colostrum. Uh, and there's actually three different cues that you need to remember for colostrum and that is quickly quality and quantity you need to get that colostrum in really quickly to make sure the calf absorbs it because after day one they actually start to lose the ability to absorb the immunoglobulins second is quantity so you have to make sure that they're getting enough of it to absorb all the goodies from the colostrum and lastly quality because we need to make sure that that colostrum that's getting into those first day old calves is really high quality and as we've shown using the colostrometer we can actually test colostrum to make sure we're getting the really good stuff with the highest amount of immunoglobulins into the calves, which is really important. Yes, it's, it definitely is important because the wheels will all fall off later on down the track. If those calves haven't received that, that first initial gold colostrum, then um, they're open to all the diseases in the world, really, and um, problems later on at weaning and other stages. By the end of the season, we will rear 2,100 heifers and we might lose two or three. Everything's done quickly, quantity, quality with the, with the colostrum and then um, the time frame starts with the guys in the paddocks. Animals have to be picked up as soon as possible and brought to us and then it's the delivery of the colostrum. So basically Karen, you just need to make sure that any calf coming on day one, you've got to assume they've basically had no colostrum. Yes, just to be safe. To be safe and yeah. to, to cover all your bases to make sure that, that you are treating that calf as an individual and, um, and not as a group and say, oh, well that one has and that one hasn't. Just treat them all the same. Yeah.
Do your basics well. The single most important thing I think is actually the is colostrum for the newborn calves. Yeah. You know, if you don't get that colostrum right, you've actually um, you know you, you're on a hiding to nothing. <laughs>